Welcome to Saving the Cabin and welcome to I Look Like a Hot Mess because I was just doing a different video cleaning up the front and I thought you guys, I keep getting so many questions about where we are, what everything looks like because we do have the roof finished. We need the back section to just get some shingles, but the front structural issues are taken care of. No, we did not do a detailed video about that, um, but I'm just going to show you the final outcome. So there's still roofing material. Jeremy had to go out of town to drive to Oklahoma. So this is what it is. <laughs> um, this area from the tarp over still needs shingles, but you can see the front. This is new. This did dip down here and had a weird, weird roof line that ended up having three roofs stacked on top of each other. Um, and on the other side, on this section, there was a deer stand built in. I, and I'm talking like rifle rack and everything on the side of the house. <laughs> but that is gone. So this has been extended out and everything is a nice clean line now instead of waving with a dip in the middle. So that is it for the roof. Let's kind of give you guys a better side view. All right, so that's it from the front. I'm sorry I'm so short or you would be able to get a better view over the trees, but you know. And the sunlight does not help. Front of the cabin. La. And I look like a hot mess because the kids and I were cleaning up the front here. We ran out of trash bags. We just have a little pile left, but it's coming along. So let's walk into the cabin. Kind of see, we still have places to replace. I think I'm gonna take these stones and use them as a step for the back porch or back area off the kitchen. Um, and then kind of how they have this here, I'm gonna make another one right here and clean that one up. But you can see the steps again. It's a miracle, I'm telling you. Porch. I've already blown this off half a dozen times today and there's already leaves. It is fall. That window will get uncovered soon as soon as the little bit gets done building above it. That way we don't accidentally break it. And we're in the dark cabin. Ooh. Let's get some lights on. It is a hot, crowded mess in here. Well, nice. I had the heater on, so it's actually not hot, but um, <laughs> good ambient temperature going on. But all the construction stuff. And then this is where the chaos begins. I'll show you guys upstairs before the rest of it. So, I've already kind of given you a sneak peek of what this looks like on the ground. When you look straight up, this cedar is going to come out because that is no longer the roof line. It, the cedar was actually nailed straight to the rafters and the rafters had broken and were hanging. They weren't really supported well. They were dipping by about eight inches from where they should be. So that right now just has to be taken down. It's just kind of there. And again, since I get lots of questions about what's in here, this will be this first door, the bathroom and laundry room. The middle of the floor right here is not good. So I can't walk there. But just as a reminder, my pretty window there we go, I turned the camera light on. So sink, I can literally in the corner right here inside the sink, um, see daylight, toilet. A washer dryer will go here eventually. Not that dryer though, for sure. And that other room, 
Again, holes in the floor, wow. holes in the ceiling. This will become Fiona's room. She'll have a nice large room. This really doesn't make a lot of sense to me. They put They linked up the a cabin wall with the other cabin wall that doesn't quite fit. <laughs> and this happens to be the same length as the piece that is missing inside the kitchen. So I think they stole this part and moved it. But again, holes on the floor, a lot of chaos, but luckily this is all fairly easy chaos. Anyone need a Christmas tree? And my, my stairs that I worked so hard to clean are just covered in debris. And here's where it gets, where you can really see what's going on with new roof, old roof. New one is up to code, <laughs> unlike what had been there, which, goodness, was a hot mess. You can still see daylight out. That's got to get fixed. But if you can see, the cedar was nailed to the rafters itself. And then when they put it in the insulation, they did it, I guess, from the outside. Like, I guess they were on the roof when they did it before sealing up the roof. So they put the paper side up um, with the insulation not having a barrier and it was just coming through all the cracks of the board, kind of like there, um, because they had the insulation upside down. But this is Jeremy's job, this room. When he gets back, he can climb his happy little butt up there and start cleaning it all up. But luckily, with my father-in-law being a contractor, I know stuff was done right, which makes me feel much better. <laughs> well, I had a moment where I was like, um, I don't know if I feel much better because I saw this sticking through. It's just loose. It fell. Um, when they were putting in the new roof above it, they must have dropped it. So it's coming through. <laughs> so ignore the nails. I swear it was done right. And, of course, this is where it gets really different. So, you can see there had been a roof right there and then a roof right here. And then there's actually a little bit of a roof underneath the two of these. Um, and that's what they were dealing with. There were three roofs, one, two, and then a third underneath. So, that has been removed And the roof on the other side will go all the way up there. But see, they made it just, just continuous now. Nice and pretty and even. <coughs> and I think what I'm going to do, even though I do like the hunter green on the tub, it needs to be cleaned up. It's just a little rusty on the outside. So I'm going to get a copper color and I'm going to make the outside of the tub look like copper. And inside, for those of you that were asking, is in really good shape, minus the dirt. And I I have downstairs black fixtures to go with it. That's that um, oil rubbed black stuff with a little bit of a bronze that peeks through. So I, I can't wait for a tub. It's been a year and a half since I've had an actual bath and not just a shower. And, and there's a claw foot. For those wondering, it does have its feet. <coughs> I do need to add another stud there. And again, bathroom. I'm sure you've heard me in other videos say that I didn't want to remove the toilet and the sink at the time because I didn't feel like lifting it. Um, yeah, it's still there. Um, Jeremy, again, r did the roof and then had to go straight out of town. So I'll make him lift it 
I, I don't have to. I don't want to. <laughs> I did save all the tile. It is stacked up. And if you're wondering what I'm doing for flooring, the same flooring here, I'm going to just continue it into there. Because there's a few pieces that shouldn't, like, here, this is the best example. This board right here is super duper 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 squishy. Um, because that's a seam and there's a seam right there. There's nothing in between. Um, so they shouldn't have let it just end there. So this one, I'm going to let it come to the, where the seam is underneath the support. So I'll run it lengthwise. Um, so that way we won't have this hard edge here. Some of these shorter boards, like right here and right there, I will use those as my stopping points and continue that way. And there's a whole lot of these that really need to be nailed down. They are sticking up. This is the one that people always trip up to. You can see how much it's sticking up. All right. So that's the big tour. Not a whole lot has changed downstairs, but I'll still let you see. Let's zoom through. Hammer. Ow. Oh. <laughs> that corner just got me. When you're short, you forget things can hang down. Oh. <coughs> and there we go dining room which I think will become office for now or at least parts of it because you'll, you're about to see I've taken over the kitchen with crafting I had some friends ask for some ornaments so I am uh, making a whole lot of ornaments and stuff So, I've been having a lot of fun with my laser cutter. And, and, ooh, I have this one, but they just sent me the laser that's the double. <coughs> that's basically double the laser. It's a 41 instead of a 22. I'm excited. But yeah, I um, took over the stove top. Oh. Georgia Bulldogs. Merry Christmas. Ooh, these are 3D ornaments. The guy I'm in love with, my gingerbread. And some neat snowflakes. Mom. But yeah, so you can see I really need a better setup in my kitchen. I believe I'm gonna make this into the pantry. This will become dining room table for a while because it'll be a bit till I'm able to build cabinets because I'll have other stuff to do first. So dining room table. Um, and then my crafting room. And I'll have my lasers set up, the laser cutters where I can vent out this window. But that's it. This is where we stand. Oh, I guess I will give you a peek at the side. Since this video is still in progress. I made one side reel. Still have another one to do. I've got everything cut. And the tops of the railings need to be taken off. New ones put on and flipped around to where it's flush on the back. For the cats to be able to jump up on. There you go cabin walkthrough. Uh, we have a roof. I'm just 
so excited. I mean, even when I walk over this direction and you look behind me, you can see I have a roof again. I don't have to have wood propped at the front door. That way it's like a rain barrier to stop it from splashing inside the cabin because that was a problem. So uh, one thing off the plate of things to do um, with the, my little bit of medical issues going on, uh, things will go slower. I really don't see us getting in by Christmas, but I'm accepting of that. Maybe I'll make Easter as a goal, but, but I'll still have a Christmas tree inside. I need one. So thanks for joining me on the update and the walkthrough. Bye guys.